Boxer's Young Chong is underway in Park City at the U.S. Olympic Summit. Mike Hedrick, who will anchor our coverage in South Korea, is on site there in Park City. And Mike, when it comes to the Olympic rivalries, Team USA and Canada have a pretty nice one brewing we hear in both men's and women's hockey. Yeah, I'll tell you what, when we spoke with the women's hockey team today, they were all very nice and pleasant. It was great to talk to them. But I'll tell you this, they certainly had a chip on their shoulder, and for very good reason. Now, the final team has not yet been announced, but the ladies we spoke with up there, uh, they're telling us they're already looking forward to that rematch with Canada, hoping that they'll get a rematch. Now, let's take you back a few years, because there's certainly a reason why they got this chip on their shoulders. Four years ago in Sochi, the gold medal game was decided in overtime for the first time in Olympic history, with Canada beating the U.S. three goals to two. It was a blow to that team that was also looking for redemption from the 2010 games where Team USA also lost to Canada. National team captain Megan Duggan says that the storied rivalry makes for exciting games every four years. It's one of the greatest rivalries in sports. I think it's up there. It dates back, you know, years. Every game is a one-goal game, overtime games, things like that, you know, historically. So um, it's an incredible rivalry to be a part of. We respect each other as opponents. We know that they're, you know, training, you um, you know, just the way we are and trying to bring home a medal to their country. So I think that just um, just heightens it even more and makes it exciting. And um, I love being a part of it. When we get out there, there's, there's nothing like a game against Canada. And it's certainly fun to watch, right? Team USA has not taken gold at the Olympics since the first year it was included in the Games. That was back in 1998 in Nagano, Japan. The team members that we heard from today feel very confident, though, that they can take the top spot come February. And again, that confidence, you could see it. They say it's the best team they've seen uh, since they've been together. All right, let's talk about the psyche of an Olympic athlete here for a moment. Injuries, setbacks, failures, a lot of things can change maybe an athlete's perspective on life and a perspective on their career in that sport. But a Utah athlete hoping to head to his third Olympic Games, well, got to change a perspective from something that happened just a few months ago. That was the birth of his baby boy. We're talking about Ted Ligety. You remember this guy, don't you? He and his wife welcomed baby Jackson to their family back in the month of June. And while growing up in Park City is bound to turn the next generation Ligety into a skier, Dad, Te Dad Ted says that fatherhood has definitely changed things for him. Ski racing has been like the most important thing in my life, my, you know, my whole life, ever since I was a little kid, always like pursuing training and whatnot. And, you know, that hasn't necessarily changed now that I have a family, but there's something more important than you know the end result in, in skiing, and I'm still able to get the training in. I'm still able to do those things, but you come home to something that's bigger than what you're doing out there on the hill. So that's a that's a cool, cool perspective, and it's cool to have that and having something that you know is more important than than your sport for once. An Need to, he need to hear from him today. Ligeti is a two-time gold medalist in alpine skiing. He's coming back from a season-ending back injury as he gets set for the Olympic qualifying events in just a couple of months this winter. He's definitely one to watch heading to South Korea. We got a chance, as mentioned, to talk to him a little bit today. He had that surgery, Dave and Ashley, back in January. He was back on the slopes just two months later in March and then training really hard come June. So it's been fast for him. The recovery has, and he says he's not feeling any pain right now. So that's good news. Plus, back he's a new you. dad, and it seems like he's a hard worker, so he'll win it for our country, and most importantly, he'll win it for his new baby. Mike, thanks so much. We'll see you in a bit.